everyone. Happy Thursday and welcome to your first recorded lesson. And I can't wait for you guys to finish for the rest of the day. And I can't wait for Monday so I can see you all again. All right, so today we are going to start a new unit of reading and it's all about nonfiction books. So, hmm, I'm gonna think nonfiction. What does nonfiction mean? Well, I know fiction means made up and non means not. So not made up. So something that's true. So we're this unit, we're gonna look at books that are all about true things, okay? All right, so today I wanna to teach you that nonfiction readers get ready by revving up their minds, just like a car engine, even before they start reading a text. They preview it, identify the parts, and think about how the book might go. All right, so let me share my presentation with you guys. All right, so we are going to rev up our minds before reading nonfiction. Okay, so here are some ways that nonfiction readers get ready to read. They rev up their minds before reading. They think, what sort of text is this? Is this narrative? expository so it's explaining something or exposing something or is it hybrid so is it both explaining something and narrating something then they read the text with the text features which are the titles subtitles photos and anything else like that okay and they think to themselves so what will this text most likely be about and what will it say and then they think what do i already know about this topic and then the last thing they do is they notice subtopics that seem important. So let's go ahead and try this with our book, Gorillas. All right, so what can we learn by looking at the cover of this book? So go ahead and look at the cover and I'll give you a couple of minutes to look. Alrighty, so I can tell that this book is about gorillas and um, obviously, and um, we are probably gonna look at um, all types of different gorillas. So let's find out what more we can look at. So next we are going to look at the table of contents. So what can we learn about looking at the table of contents? Okay, so I'm gonna read. So the chapter titles are what are primates? What are gorillas? How are gorillas classified? Where do gorillas live? What adaptions help gorillas survive? What do gorillas eat? What is a gorilla's life cycle? How do gorillas behave? How intelligent are gorillas? What traits do gorillas face? How can people help gorillas? What does the future hold for gorillas? Gorilla profile, glossary, find out more, and index. So it looks like it's all about different gorillas in their life, in their life cycle. So it looks, seems like I can learn a lot from this book. All right. So now I kind of have an idea of what this book is going to be about and what I can learn. All right, so now I'm going to look in the gorillas book. So let me make sure my camera is connected and we are going to look at some of the sub topics. So let me grab my book, here it is. And let's see if my camera connected. It did. All right, so now I'm going to just turn to a chapter page. Um, let's see about how our gorillas classified on page 10. All right, so I can see my subtopics are here. Classifications of living things, classifications of gorillas, and then this is a new chapter. Okay, so I can see how this book is going to go and what I can learn just by looking at the, the title and then the subtopics. All right. Did you notice the way we wrapped up our minds for reading nonfiction by looking over the text and thinking, if the author is teaching me a class on this topic, how can I use this book to figure out the different parts or subtopics I will learn about? Because we wrapped up our minds before we read, we were able to anticipate how the book would go. 
so we were more ready to learn about each subtopic. Next, we can read, gathering information, and we can confirm whether our expectations turn out right. Okay, what I need you to do for your independent work, and this is also on Canvas, is to read a nonfiction book. Once you are done reading, you are going to respond to my Canvas discussion and tell me what book you are reading. All right, good luck, and I will see all of you on Monday.